Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Jeff Kanata. And I'm Ashley Eskeva. Let's hit some headlines. Bandai Namco is coming up with a really cool VR experience that if you live in Tokyo, you will want to check out. They're opening up VR Zone Project I Can on April 15th, which is a virtual reality experience center designed for people to try out VR without spending an arm and a leg on it. The center will be located in Tokyo, like I mentioned, and of course, and will feature six different simulations, including Fear of Heights, where you rescue a cat that's stranded on a plank 650 feet above the ground, while you are also balancing on a plank in real life to help immerse you in the demo and also scare you if you're afraid of heights. There's also a horror game, a driving game, a skiing sim, a train conductor sim, and a mech battling game. Out of all of those six, which one do you want to try the most? Well, I think the one I need to try the most is the Fear of Heights one because I do have an issue with heights and I think I'm kind of excited that virtual reality might be able to make me face my fears more. I would just start crying and hold onto the board on the ground, so that's not for me. But I really want to try that mech battle. Mech Ma'am, you're two inches above the ground. I don't care! <laughs> not in here. Not in here. That's exactly what it would be like. Hey, Google Research is trying to teach robotic arms to be able to pick things up autonomously. Grasping is a pretty tough concept for robots to calculate on the fly, since we tend to process a lot of the action through visual information. That's a lot of data for a simple robot to process, though, so Google Research went a different route. They gave 14 robotic arms each a bin of various items, and left them to learn how to pick up each item through a deep, convolutional neural network. It's a pretty specific experiment, but the team hopes to find ways to translate the results into better real-world tests. Teaching robots how to do things on their own. I think this is honestly the future in a lot of ways, not just for robotic arms, but all kinds of things. We're seeing neural networks being established, mm -hmm. and then yeah, this is the same thing with the, with the Go, um, the, the, what was his name, um, AlphaGo, yeah. that was playing Go. You don't, you don't program all the behavior, you just let give it, it the, the rule set and let it learn itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Really, really awesome stuff. What do you want to talk about on uh, Thursday's show? Oh, man. Uh, both good. Uh, they're both really good. I'm kind of leaning toward this neural network idea, but I, uh, talking about VR is always my thing. So what, what would you like? Maybe because of the Oculus starting sh to ship, we'll talk about this VR experience because we could talk about some other VR, real-life VR experiences that are sort of popping up now all over the world. I'm, I want to know why my Oculus hasn't shipped yet. Ashley, that will be what we'll be talking about is have I got my email yet that it's shipped because I pre-ordered, so why have they not sent me my email? This is deeply upsetting. If you'd like to tell Jeff why he has not gotten his Oculus Rift <laughs> if you're shipping <Palmer> notification, <laughs> please tweet at us using the hashtag HeyTD, and you can also use that hashtag to get in on the conversation of all the topics we talk about during the week. Yeah, anything that you uh, want to in be involved in with regard to these topics, we're going to bring them up again on Thursday. We'd love to involve your comments, so use that hashtag. I literally read every hashtag HeyTD tweet. Just FYI, just so you guys know, I do. We love it, and uh, we really we love having that two-way conversation with you. So, uh, so you know, hit us up on the social medias. Yes, and speaking of hitting us up, it's time for our photographer of the day. Today's photographer is Josh. He took this photo with his Galaxy S6. Yeah, Josh wrote to us, and this was actually last week, and he said, we are having a blizzard here in Colorado, hashtag blizzard2016. I went to the grocery store and stopped to check the mail. Luckily, work is closed today for safety. I took this photo on my Galaxy S6, and for good reason, your work was closed, because uh, that looks literally like the set of The Mist. It's terrifying. It is really. I mean, you can't see don't anything. Walk, yeah, don't walk into that because that's where the monsters are. That seems. is exact, and the army. Yeah, as well. That was a real really beautiful of an shot, ending. though. Actually. Yeah, I really like haunting. Reminds me of like Silent Hill, yeah. set in the winter time. I mean, I think it'll be great. Uh, it looks really good. And we're doing themes next week, right? We're gonna start themes yeah. next week, everybody. So the she, themes are uh, stuff of nightmares. Ready. He could have stuff of nightmares. <laughs> that's you take pictures, get your so pictures maybe. ready. If you guys want to send in your photography, email us tomorrowatcnet.com. Yeah, we love getting those pictures from you. Just make sure you tell us what device you took it on and give us permission to use it on the show. We also love a little story about why you took that picture. Can I ask you a question? Please. Do you realize you've done this entire show with an inside-out shirt? <laughs> I just wanted to ask. As a uh, choice. On, it's a really nice fashion choice. On that note, it's okay because I did it with two two t-shirts on. It's fine. On that note, we're done. We're done here. 
Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a very special guest, actually. We are going to have Riley Vanderbilt in. Oh. Of the, if you've ever seen the Wonder Woman short she did, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. You should definitely check that out, right? Of Team Unicorn, Riley Vanderbilt. And I am going to wear my underpants on the outside of my clothes. My, so there's what? that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a show it's been, everybody. We'll be uh, back tomorrow, deep diving and all the cool stuff. But until then, be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh.